Hello, welcome to Premier Scene. I'm Claire Bueno. As the unmissable Bollywood superhero science fiction film reaches the UK, we are here for the UK premiere of Ra One. <laughs> this must have been a lot of fun to work on this film. Uh, yeah, working on this film was awesome. It took me two years to finish this. It was a long film. And I had to do many sequences, uh, fighting sequences, where they put me in a harness, which was a lot of fun. How did you manage your education as well? Uh, I had a tutor coming home, and then I had extra classes after school, so I could manage. And what experience have you taken from this? It's a very good experience. I can't, I'll never forget this. I love London over here when I shot here. But it's too cold out here now. <laughs> That's true. The genre of this must have been an ideal opportunity for your imagination to go completely wild. Yeah, actually, we rarely get a chance. It's not the talent alone. See, we need a concept and a chance to do films like this. So I think the stage was set, so we could uh, showcase our talent. So I think this was the best opportunity which I got. But I've been all uh, now. Last film was Robo, which I did, which was again a science fiction film. The next one is Krish, which has also got a lot of uh, science fiction, like a lot of CG and things to go. And the, the film's obviously been made in two. It was made in 2D, and now it's been transferred to 3D. Was there anything that you had to go back, maybe, and revisit set-wise? No, because we had an idea in the beginning itself that uh, it might we might have a chance to do all the action sequences in 3D. So we kept that in mind, but uh, still work. Converting from 3D, 2D to 3D may not be as good, but being an action film and a virtual reality game, it be more effective. Uh, this particular film, it is quite effective that way. And, and how closely did you did you work with the director? Did he have a, a very certain vision that you needed to? First line onwards, uh, when the concept was ready, he sent me a mail, told me this is what he's planning. And with Shahrukh, I've done three, four films uh, before, so I know how he works. So we had, it's actually it's a dream project of Shahrukh and he's put his heart and soul. I wish the film does well because only then we'll be able to do bigger films like this in future. Thank you very and much. he has promoted this film. I don't think anyone in India can do a promo, not even in India, in Hollywood also. It's very difficult for a star to do such a big uh, promotion because he's uh, sponsored so many companies and so many uh, I think he's just put all his uh, energy into this. Heart and soul. Heart and soul, yes. So tell us what endeared you to this script that made you want to be a part of it. I think anyone in the Indian film industry is uh, a huge fan of Shah Rukh Khan and the opportunity to work with him is the biggest bait that someone could have to be a part of any film and especially this because it's something that's been quite milestone in terms of the Indian film industry it being a superhero film which Shah Rukh is playing the superhero, uh, the special effects being all done in India uh, um, by Shah Rukh's team. It was his production so a lot of uh, it's really something that is very close to his heart and something that he's very invested in emotionally as well. So there was absolutely no reason to not work. All, all my scenes were with him and uh, I had absolutely no reason to, to refute. Tell us more about the, the, the part that you're playing. I, I play uh, Jenny Nair. Uh, she's uh, a graphic designer and uh, works on the same team that creates this video game, uh, Rawan. And so I essentially am, um, uh, you know, looking into the designing of the look for, ja uh, to, for Rawan and Jeevan. And, and you obviously you mentioned Shah Khan is the uh, is a producer as, as well as as the actor. Does that have any effect of how you all work together on set? No, I mean as far as I know, I've seen and heard of uh, Shah Rukh working on other films. He's very involved, but uh, of course, uh, you know when it's your own production, you you push it that much harder. And like I said, it's something that Shah Rukh is very personally interested in VFX. So he's taken a lot of personal interest in the film um, as an individual, and which is why he chose to produce it as well. Uh, so. Uh, he's really given it his all and really pushed it, uh, uh, given it that push that it required to make it, uh, you know, uh, to make this experimental kind of film. Give it, give it the gravitas, really. Absolutely. What does it feel like for you to sort of be bringing um, Bollywood into a new era of, of cinema, musically as well as cinematically? Well, someone the other day told me that uh, you are taking the industry 20 years ahead of its time. I feel very touched and moved by that uh, in our kind words. Um, yes, we 
in a very penultimate time of our, in our industry. Uh, it's also in terms of <coughs> time, culturally. You now we are we are in a juncture where geographic, geographical you know border li border lines are coming down, thinning down. So we needed to talk to a bigger audience. Um, if Avatar, a film like Avatar has a place in Indian minds, I'm sure Ravan has a place in the Western audience. Have any kind of ideas when you were presented with the scripts? How musically you wanted to, to work, or did, or did you see that kind of the end of the film and then be able to, to put your ideas to it? I knew for right from the beginning that the music, songs, and music and dances are integral part of Hindi cinema. You know, they cannot be Hindi cinema without them. So it had to be integrated into the into the storytelling. That's what we have done. I believe that uh, you were inspired by a commercial, Is, am I correct? I think, I suspect it was a commercial, because it was not a film for sure, so it could have been a music video or a commercial, I don't remember. But it was a short or just a still image, I don't remember clearly. Was it, was it a short story as well that you wrote originally? Yeah, after looking at that, it, it remained with me for about four days, and then I ended up writing a three-page story, which was quite... Uh, quite nice and then I went to Shah Rukh with it and uh, it became this. <laughs> am, I, am I correct in saying that uh, for, for one of your sequences you had a 23 camera setup? One had uh, about 50 plus cameras. How was that to organize? A nightmare. <laughs> it's tough enough to tell your DP to place a camera somewhere because you better know why but we had 50 of those, so yeah, it was quite tough. Your character, Ravan, is based on um, a Hindu mythology character, Ravan. Is that correct? Well, you know, it's actually Random Access 1, and they're thinking about it, and they say, uh, uh, so it's called RA1, and then they suddenly say, but then let's just call him Ravan, because, you know, uh, from the Hindu mythology, Ravan is one of the evil people with the ten heads, and this guy has been made out of uh, the thoughts of ten evil people, the strength of ten people, you know, and uh, so, yeah. Did you have that in mind as well when you brought when you come to play the part and 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 what kind of stamp did you want to put on it yourself? Well, you know, I, I, I mean, evil has no face is like the real uh, saying of my character, and so this Ravan through the most of the film is this masked uh, person, but it's my voice, and you know, you feel his presence all the time, and when he takes the human form, uh, he, which is in the second half of the movie, uh, that's when he becomes me. Uh, for the human part of it, I wanted to look like a machine. I wanted to behave like a machine, like how a person who from, would be, how a thing would be that comes out from the virtual world. He doesn't have any emotions. He doesn't eat. He doesn't drink. He doesn't cry. He doesn't smile. You know, <laughs> he doesn't have those kind of emotions. I mean, he'll have an evil smile, or, or everything is very programmed. So, I mean, the body had to be, you know, chiseled and perfect and. I wanted to make these tattoos on my body and all the tattoos have these binary codes in them and that's how I designed it. So yeah, I kept, got into that kind of stuff for it. And is it as an actor, is, is this kind of role just a lot of fun to play? Yeah, it is. It's a, new, it's a different character. It's very rarely in your career you get a chance to play something like that. And I am fortunate that I got it to do it in a production that would justify it. You know, sometimes you get a great idea, but you don't have either the finance or the technicians or, you know, the uh, visionaries around it. It's not just about me. There are a lot of people who go behind making a film. And so I think that team, to get the right team, was very, very important. And, and, and for, to be as well part of a, um, a, a, a Bollywood groundbreaking film, what does that mean for you as an artist? Well, I am going to only be part of groundbreaking cinema. <laughs> Does the film as well adhere to the more traditional Bollywood storylines too? Of course, there's a lot of emotion, there's a lot of song and dance, and of course there's uh, the whole drama bit. So there's everything and more in Ravan. It's a little strange for me to talk about how, I, how it is different from what I've done. Uh, mostly actors do take upon their experiences and put it back. So, uh, so it may be similar in terms of uh, what I've done before. But I, I, I think it's quite different. You know, I fly and stuff, and uh, uh, you got to see the film. I hope everyone thinks it's different. It doesn't make a difference what I think.